She licked her pale, sugar-coated fingers. Her lips came in that, and her eyelids the robin's egg powder blue. Every year I get closer to death, she said, blowing out all sixteen candles. And who knew that the bottle burnt prom queen said such a sad, helpless little thing. Coffee's gonna get cold. I don't like coffee. Since when? Because there's no point in getting up because I'd rather be dreaming than be awake. That's reason number one, I don't drink coffee. Okay, what's well, reason number two? Too bitter. So why don't you just add sugar and milk? Because then you'll just be fooling yourself. You're a freak. Where do you think we go after we die? Heaven? Well, how do you know that exists? I think people are just afraid of becoming nothing, being forgotten. So we have to make up something better than what we live in now. What's so wrong about that? It gives us something to believe in. I think people are all just cowards and greedy, always needing something more. Since when do people live just to live and learn just to be wise? I mean, schools produce brainwashed kids, programmed to recite the textbooks, so they can go to expensive schools and do expensive things. Can't I just have my breakfast without you ranting like a lunatic? Why can't you be normal? So, why are you here? Apparently, I've hit rock bottom. Yeah, my parents have been making me come to therapy for two years now. I don't see the point, really. I mean, I've been sitting here and nobody's helping me or do anything, and it's just pointless, really. And I mean, I have a life and these other people. See my pretty face in his old eye. I listen to our blood run side by side. I throw my hands. It really sucks, man. Don't you think it should be like this? What? Okay, so you never told me why you're here. I just don't see the point anymore. I run away from you into your dream. I walk past shelves stacked high with books, and then I see her, a girl I swear I know. But where I know her from, I have no idea. She looks up at me as if she is trapped, trapped in a world where she's all alone, almost like she doesn't even see anyone as a human anymore. Every person just a creature of fiction, watching her and judging her just for being different. And then she starts to write. 
I can't help wondering what a girl would need to write in a book that's not even hers. A message obviously intended for someone else to see. And that someone a complete stranger. Yet her pencil continues to glide across the paper. Etching out a message until she closes the book. Walks away. And leaves me there to read. Are you trying to tell me something with you? Undying love of God would be the answer of the pleated skirt Sunday school girl. Or the scientist would recite a complicated solution mapping the direction of every cell or molecule that slowly create a product of society plastered on this seemingly innocent body. And no matter how hard I try to escape this corrupted structure of a wasteland devoid of your love and understanding, you could still probably change me, mold me into any form or figure of your pure desire. Now I'll obediently sit in this plastic little chair and stare at the fake peeling wallpaper. The peeling was always there, in this fake house of dolls, all while faking my understanding of why I'm so afraid to break the mold you sculpted, oh, so carefully without a single care in the world. <laughs> 